are crushing this, you know, every single day you're showing up for your workouts, you're showing up for yourself. And I'm glad to see that today is no different. Today's workout is similar to one that we've done before. It is an E3 mom. We're calling it lower bod. So let me go ahead and share my screen. We're going to go through the movements and the modifications. Like I said, you're going to go for this every three minutes on the minute for 15 minutes. And the movements that you're going to walk through during this three minute time is five glute bridges, 10 glute walks, five jump squats, 10 alternating lunges, and then a 30 second squat pulse. Your score at the end is just completion. So you're going to have three minutes to complete all five of these movements. And then the remainder remainder your time of that three minutes, you're going to have for rest time. So if you're not getting very much rest time, definitely change up how many reps you're doing or give yourself a little bit more time. Maybe do every four minutes for 20 minutes or something like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and walk through these modif or these work movements together. And it's going to start with five glute bridges. So with a glute bridge, oh, let me stop my screen share so you can see me nice and big. So for a glute bridge, we're gonna go ahead and lay on our back with our feet pulled into our butt as, as close as possible. Our hands are just gonna come out here alongside. And for a glute bridge, we're just gonna drive through our heels, lift up our butt, really squeeze here, and then we're gonna lower it back down. So we're only doing five of these. So to make sure that you hold it for a few seconds at the top and you're really feeling that burn. Then after that, you're gonna go ahead and do 10 glute walks. So that's where we're gonna hold it up here in this glute position, this glute bridge position. And you're gonna walk your right foot, your left foot, your right foot. You're just gonna lift that up, put it back down nice and gently. And you're gonna be doing 10 of those, trying to keep your butt as high in the air as possible. Okay, so that is your five and your 10 for that. Then you're gonna go ahead and stand up and we're gonna do five jumping squats. So for that, we're gonna have our feet maybe a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Remember, whenever we do a squat, the first thing that moves is our butt goes back. That way we're keeping the weight in our heels. And you're gonna squat down, and then you're gonna explode up. And when you explode up, you're really gonna drive those hands to the ground. You're gonna push up onto your toes and you're gonna end with your toes really pointing down into the ground. And then you're gonna land softly back in your, with your knees bent and you're gonna go down and do it again. Okay, so five jump squats looks like this. I'm really pushing those arms down, pointing those toes, getting as high as I can, okay? If that's too much for you, don't worry about the jump. Just go ahead and make sure that you're really squeezing those glutes when you get to the top. You're down, squeezing, really thrusting those hips, and just do five of those. I know it looks a little weird. It'll look weird when you do it too, but do it anyway, okay? Really work on um, getting those fast twitch muscles. Um, after you do your five jump squats, then we're going to go into 10 alternating lunges. So you're going to go ahead and take a step forward with your right foot. Then I'm going to come down with a 90 degree angle bend in my right and 90 degree in my left and just kiss that knee to the ground, push that leg back up and you're doing 10 alternating lunges. Okay, so from a side view, we're really trying to get a 90 degree angle in our, in our foot that's forward and in our foot that's back. Um, so maybe about right here. Now, if you're like this too much, right? And we're putting a lot of pressure on our knee here. This doesn't feel as comfortable. If you go out too far, you're not gonna have the stability. So just somewhere right in here is what we're looking for when we're doing these 10 lunges. So it's 10 total, five on a leg. Then you're gonna go for the 30 second squat pulse. So that means you're gonna stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna come into a squat position and you're just gonna pulse here, just like that for 30 seconds. You're really gonna feel the burn. And then when you're done, you're gonna shake it out and you're gonna rest the rest of your three minutes. So side view, feet, 
shoulder width apart and coming down into a squat position. And I'm just pulsing here. Remember, I can still wiggle my toes, my weights in my heels. I'm using my posterior chain to lift my body up and gently put it back down in this squat pulse position. Okay, so that's the workout, Enom low bod. It's at every three minutes, on the minute for 15 minutes. Do this for three minutes, use the rest of the time to rest, and then you'll be working through this segment five times total. Your score is just completion. So push yourself, really feel the burn, really help activate these muscles, and most importantly, have fun and be safe. See ya.